All right, Shalom. First off, we've all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salute and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity in the women and children who followed. So I was sent this uh, video by a brother, and I just, you know, it was in my spirit to just go over it, so I'm going to touch on it a little bit. Um, it's not going to be a long video. I'm going to just, you know, get straight to the point and say what I got to say. So, uh, with that being said, here we go. We have a lot of fun around Passover where we steal the children. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. And we drain the blood and we mix it with the Passover bread. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. The gold is See, now, they just said that they have a lot of fun around, you know, Passover time or whatnot. And they're not the real Jews, you know. They're, they're not. They're the the Jewish, but they're using that time as a satanic time. That proves that, you know, because that's that's not the spirit of the Passover. The spirit of the Passover is is uh, you know salvation. You know, being delivered out of Egypt, being delivered out of America. That's the the um. The vibration of the Passover, not sacrificing fucking kids, not grinding them up and putting them in food. That's why it's also so important, you know, that we, you know, watch our diets in this place, man, because this is a vile kingdom. All right, there's a perverse spirit out here, you know. So that's why we really got to be circumspect on, on what we actually put in our bodies and what what that, what we are actually doing, man, because. And you wonder why you always get sick or why um why you feel certain ways, man. This food, man, because this goddamn devil is polluting everything. So I'm going to just rewind this back a little bit and let it play. The Passover bread, and then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own, and we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. And uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast, they eat their children for lunch. And that's why we made those the most popular things, sausage for breakfast and hamburger for lunch. And so all the goyim out here are really eating their children. And, uh... You know what I'm saying? All the goyim, you know what I'm saying? The cattle. All right, because our people is led as a, a flock to the slaughter. So in their eyes, we are the goyim. We are the cattle. And we are being led to the flock, or led as a flock to the slaughter. But... They're really the goyim, which is not, it's not goyim, it's goyim, you know what I'm saying, according to the, the, the pure Hebrew, the Lashon Kadash. But, uh, they just blatantly came out and said they're eating their own children. All these children that go missing, that's what's happening to them. That's what, the, this is what he's saying, that they're being grinded up and putting fucking McDonald's and fucking Taco Bell and shit. And then you go... Because you don't want to cook or you feeling lazy or whatever for every reason for the convenience factor. And you go get that that double uh that double Big Mac or whatever it is that you eat. And I'm guilty too. I've I've had McDonald's recently. <laughs> you know? But it's it's at a point in time, man, we gotta be disciplined. This shit ain't helping us. Is really not helping us. And I know the scriptures say that we should eat poison and live. But fuck, man. You got to want to do better. This ain't to be an end-all, be-all. I know it's difficult for me with my schedule, you know, meal prepping and doing stuff like that. But I just, you know, you got to find a way, man. You got to find a way. You got to find a better option than this bullshit that, you know, the so-called white man is feeding us, man. These goddamn devils. So, I'm going to let it play, man. Even when we say this outright and tell you people, you don't believe it. So, that's... <laughs> Even when we tell you outright, hey, look, we kill fucking kids and we put it in your food and you eat it. You don't believe them, you know what I'm saying? Listen to this devil. He eats, you know, that's the part that got me when he said that. Even when we tell you, you don't believe it. You don't believe it because you don't want to believe it. It's not that it's too far-fetched from you. You don't want to believe it. That's what it is. Not that you don't believe it. You don't want to believe it. Because if you if you did believe it, then you would have to 
consider everything else that we say. You would have to consider that this man is the actual fucking devil that the Bible speaks of. You would have to consider and ponder upon many other things, man. So you choose not to believe it. You choose to be ignorant. Our ignorance, what do they say? Uh, ignorance is bliss. You know, if, if I don't know what's going to happen, I would rather, or I would just rather not know and get fucked up than know what's going to happen and have to change or face the music and um and then get fucked up. So, man, that's our people, man. That's that's where we in, man. That's the situation that we in right now. That's your problem. Look at that. Fucking human meat and horse meat. Human meat and horse meat. People burritos. Or, or people... Uh, sandwich McNigga. All right. Burrito Mc, <laughs> McPinto. Fucking horse meat in the in the meat, and goddamn kids, man. And he's saying that we do this and people don't believe. Man, if you don't believe after this, man, you, you says you, the Lord gave you eyes not to see and ears not to hear. Take this shit serious, man. Look within yourself and and want something better. Not only human meat, it's child meat. It's human children. It's a body part. See, now this is two different people, two separate different um resources or or uh uh what's the word I want to use? Yeah, pr pretty much. You know what I'm saying two different references, saying that child meat is going into the into the fucking Restaurants, man. These goddamn fast food places. So if you are going to eat out, man, just be, be mindful of where you're going. Okay? Now, I know it's a lot of these, uh, like, up, up, upper class restaurants or better restaurants that serve actual food. You know, that's not like, uh, like these fast food chains that everything comes in a box and then they just throw it on. You know, it's actual restaurants out here that do actually cook the food. So, you know, I'm not saying anything against them. If you do got to, you know, for convenience factor, go to them. You know, I would definitely recommend that before you stop at a goddamn McDonald's. Like I said, I've been guilty of that recently. So, you know, all I can do is just correct and measure. So we're going to let the, the rest of this play out when we go into this video. You hear that? Too small to be a dope body parts. So... It's obviously the kids, man. It's obviously the fucking kids, man. So they they kidnapping you. You see all these uh articles, you know, like on the East Coast of them. Fucking, we have a lot of money around Passover where we steal the children. Uh, around or just like you know, on the East Coast of them, uh, fucking all the kids coming up missing and this, that, and the third. Where you think they going? All the kids they get kidnapped you know, and never come up. Come up missing. Or come up missing and never be found. What happened to them? I'll tell you what happened to them. They in your Happy Meal. They in that, that fucking Big Mac that you got. Alright, so, like I said, just do your best to to be circumspect and to, to be disciplined in everything. Not just in eating, you know, just in everything in general. Because really, when you eating... Uh, it was it's a saying that says, "Let medicine be thy food, and food be thy medicine." Okay, you ain't gonna never get well if you fucking eating people for for your medicine. All right, let the sinner fall into the hands of the physician. That's that's what you gonna do. You gonna fall into the hands of the physician, and they gonna fuck you up and put you on some shit that you don't need to be on. Do your research about the natural remedies, you know, the herbs, the oils. You know, everything that, that we're meant to be. But, um, you know, with that being said, call law, you how about Shem Yah Shai, by Shem Makar Kadash, the Abonis of the Apostles and the Elders of GMS, salutes and honors to the elect, all the brothers across the four corners who are enduring, and truth and sincerity and the women and children who follow. Shalom.